Okay, we've got a Sterling shower enclosure. Um, 31 and a half to 33 inch, I think. And it's a pivot style. And there it is. Very, very high quality enclosure. Very nice unit. It went in very nice and turned out very nice. It's nice and solid, no bouncing. None of that whoop, whoop, whoop. Turned out pretty much perfect. So these are how you get your adjustment. This profile fits into this profile and moves in and out and then you drill a hole through this there's a slot here, drill a hole through that where the slot is, and you do that on both sides, and that's how you get your adjustment. And it works pretty good. And just one thing to watch out for, the uh, there's a little pivot pin down here, depending on which way you put the door because um, this is reversible this little pin goes in there and what that does is that pin lifts the door to where it is now right if this little if that little tiny piece of plastic wasn't there this door would be right on here so what happens is when you go to install this and you're trying to push this extrusion into here that little pin falls out and when the pin falls out, the glass will hit here. And I think that's why some people are having problems with these the glass breaking. Because, like I said, if that pin comes out, the glass is going to, you know, and if you got the door open and you set it down, it'll hit right on here. Because that pin shims this door up. So, it's a pretty good design. I think what they should do is that should be glued in or fastened in somehow or they should just say be extremely careful that that doesn't fall out when you're installing it they should say that in the instructions the only other thing that was not good in this was uh under here they've got um flathead screws i don't know why but not only are they flathead screws they are square end so they're extremely difficult to get started. Not extremely difficult, but, you know, if they were Phillips head and tapered end, they would have gone in super easy. But they're flat head and square end, so they took three times longer. So that's it. Other than that, uh, it's a really good shower closure. I give it a five out of five stars. Nice solid handle, and once again, no bounce. pivot or left pivot. The instructions are for left pivot. And uh, yeah, the only thing you really got to do is cut the threshold. Actually on this one, this side for some reason, this side right here ended up up about there. So I had to take this back off and cut this down. And it's strange because this was all the way down, right? And these two right and left are the same length. They're 63 and a half inches, so I'm not sure why I had to cut that down, but I did. It's gotta be because this shower enclosure must be out of plumb. But, all right, that's it. Sterling, 31 and a half to 33.